Hi guys and welcome to the Fire Mage uh, single target and AoE rotation guide and how to maximize your DPS as a mage. So um, the legendaries I'll be using for single target and what I like to use for single target and what I'd recommend for most people is going for the wrists. Obviously you need the wrists. It's literally like the best wrist. You just want to make sure you baseline have the wrists as Fire Mage if you want to push your DPS out. After consuming a hot streak, there's a 15% chance that your next non-instant pyroblast deals 300% additional damage. A lot of people don't use this for, to its full potential, so you need to make sure you have a weak or something, so it shows when you get the buff. And next I use the ring, just pure down to the fact that I usually lust on pull in most almost all cases, so I can get the full use out of it. And especially if I use my own time warp, I can just use my own supply of drums after, and I've got, you know, a good... 60 seconds of time warp and especially on progress where fights are going to be longer than um, than five minutes you can get the full use out of the ring so I like using the ring but yeah for single target talents what I'm taking is fire starter shimmer encounters flow the one thing that changes is encounters flow should be um, rune of power but since I don't have the tier 21 set which is on Taurus you take encounters flow instead but you want to be taking rune of power if you have the Tier 21. You want to be taking flame on no matter what, reduce the cooldown of ice blast and maximum of charges. This is just going to guarantee you a uh, critical strike every 7.55 seconds, whereas Dragon Beth has a 20 second cooldown and a guaranteed crit every 20 instead of 7, it's just not good. And control burn is just never, never really that good. Next it's down to you again, I like uh, frenetic speed so that when I'm using scorch and stuff like that, and especially if you're using the legendary belt, which is another... Um, if you have the legendary belt, I'd use that, but you know, a lot of people do use the belt because it works well with frenetic speed. Scorch, you're going to be doing a, you're doing a lot more scorches and increase your movement speed with scorch. For single target as well, you want to be taking up stable magic due to the fact you're going to be spamming a lot, a lot of fireballs. And you know, for that to explode and deal additional ta damage to that target, it's really, really good. And next, um, it's either Kindling or Meteor. I like taking Kindling just because Combustion comes off cooldown quicker. And especially because I've got loads and loads more haste with the Time Warp Ring. And we're getting the full potential out of Kindling. So what you want to start off by doing is... Um, so, let's just take an example. So what you want to do is Fireball off on start. So as you can see, I've got a, um, a Heating Up. So you just want to make sure that when you're Heating Up, you're using, a, um, using your Pyroblast after. So as you can see... I'm um I'll be heating up now. So I used to use my pyro blasts. Heating up again, I'll use my um fire blast so I get a guaranteed crit. It's just really making the full potential out of fire blast and its guaranteed crits. So I'm gonna be using combustion now so everything's a guaranteed crit. So just be critting along. So as you can see I got my wrists up, so I'm gonna get ready to use the wrists. Use the wrists now. And use another instant pyro. And just make sure you're using all the fire blasts you have. You see the guaranteed crits. So she's doing big, big damage, guaranteed pyros. Just want to make sure, just check in just in case uh, your wrist proc comes up. And you also want to make sure you're using your Phoenix Flames as much as possible. Because Phoenix Flames all gives you the increased crit. So you just want to try and keep up that, um, keep up the buff you get from Phoenix Flames to get your, um, to get your crit up. As you can see, my wrist's up. Now just use another pyro. Use another Phoenix, just that instant crit. Use a fireball. Now as you can see, I'll get the heating up. Let me just quickly use my fireballs. Instant, and there we go. So now I've got heating up. I'll use my fire blast. Instant combustion. Now I've got another instant combustion. Use that again. Use my fire blast and instant combustion. And just keep going again. It's heating up, so I'll use my fire blast. Instant. Again. Instant. And just be hitting these guys really, really hard. Instant pyro. But as you can see, fire, fire mage is really, really fun. Like at the moment, just with the instant pyros. And it's not, you you know, it's mixed up now with the wrists especially and that you have to use wrists a lot of the time. But yeah, and the fact you've taken Shimmer, you can also cast a move and do tactics, which is really, really a good reason why Fire Mage is just so good at the moment. You can do tactics with Shimmer and just, yeah, really get the full potential out of the Pyroblasts. And yeah, so now I'll go on to the AoE rotation, so if I just quickly, um, invis. So, now I'll go into the AoE talents. Um, AoE talents, what you want to be going for is um, 
conflagration due to the fact that you're going to be uh, hitting all the targets with your... Sorry, I'm stupid. I should be... It's Pyromania due to the fact that you're going to be using... You're going to be getting a lot of guaranteed crits because there's more targets. So you want to be using Flame Strike, the Pyromaniac. So that if you get a flame strike, there's a chance you get another one, and you can just deal really big damage. Um, next, you want what you want to be taking is um, it's down to you, but I just use shimmer all the time due to the fact that I can use flame strikes and blink at the same time, which is obviously really really good. Next on what you want to be taking is um, rune of power due to the fact you can put that down and you can just sit in it and do huge huge damage with your. Um, with your flame strikes and stuff like that. Next, you want to take flame on again due to the fact that then fire blast is just way, way better than Alex Straza's fury and controlled burn. Next is down for you again, frenetic speed or whatever. And the next one, what you want to change to, a lot of people use living bomb, but I just think flame patch is way, way better due to the fact that you don't want to, you know, complicate your rotation with another spell added in. You just want to be making sure you get enough fireballs. Um, fire blast so you can get them guaranteed crits put down my flame strike and obviously flame patch is going to get them burning over time and next what you want to take is uh, meteor due to the fact it just does really really big burst damage especially when you're in your rune of power you want to time it so that you're getting your um, when you've got your rune of power down you're always doing a meteor so you can deal big big damage with that so I'll just show a quick example so what you want to start off with is just put down your rune of power Start off with your Phoenix and then into a Fire Blast. So you have already have your um, Flame Strike out. So you just want to be using all your instant crit spells so you can get off your first Flame Strike relatively quickly. So you can see now I'm heating up. So I'm going to use Phoenix Flame and use another. Um, and now I'm going to use my Meteor and just quickly use. See if I get my instant crit. So use Phoenix now. And I'm just going to use Combustion now so I have my guaranteed crits. And just putting down my flame strikes over and over. So instead of spamming your um, your uh, pyroblasts as you would on a on a uh, single target rotation, you're just using your all your you know procs on flame strikes. So now, as you can see, my rune of power is back up. So you just want to be making sure you're using rune of power as much as possible. And instead of using um, fireballs. You want to be using Scorches due to the fact that that spell is going to get off much, much quicker. And if your crit's really, really high is what you want to be aiming for. You want to be aiming for a really high crit. You know, you're just going to get, like, literally guaranteed crits with them Scorches. And you can put down your, um, your, you know, your your Flame Strikes. And just deal really, really big damage. Put down my Flame Strike now. Do another Flame Strike. Now Meteor's back up, so I can use that. Use Phoenix Flame. Guaranteed crit again. Flame Patch. Obviously, because there's only one target, you're not getting the full, you know, look of the DPS, but you do insane, insane DPS as fire. Especially due to the fact that Phoenix Flame hits a lot of the targets. So you're going to get really, really big DPS down. But yeah, that's it for um, Fire Mage AoE and single target. So, um, for AoE, you want to be using uh, Dakil's Dragon Diadem, due to the fact it's going to do really, really big damage to everyone. Um, next, you want to take a lot of people... Uh, take pyrotechnic ignition cloth due to the fact that you're going to be using phoenix flames a lot um, on AOE fights. So, for example, on command when free ad spawn, you'll be using all your phoenix flames on the ads, and that will reduce the cooldown on combustion. So, you can get combustion up quicker and you can put down more and more flame strikes. So, yeah, that's it for Fire Mage. Uh, like and subscribe if you want more videos, and comment if you, yeah, if you feel I've missed anything out, and see you in the next one.